Hi, everyone. How's my people today? I thought I would be prepared, but not. Because I don't see my book here, and I want to do... Oh, here you go. How's everyone doing today? Hello, everyone. How you doing today? There you go. Okay. Got to make it... No, what am I doing? Okay. How's everyone doing today? Oh, I'm glowing. Oh, finally, my face is having issues. And I figured out what it was, finally, because I couldn't understand it. And it was teriyaki sauce. I'm not allowed to have teriyaki sauce. So I had teriyaki sauce on my vacation, and I ruined my face, my face. My face. <coughs> so <coughs> <coughs> we always have to have a COVID item. This is vitamin C. This is for anyone that chooses to use the neti pot that we talked about. <coughs> I'll have the neti pot <coughs> ready for you guys tomorrow. And you can add this is a uh, nasal mist, <clears throat> and you could add it <coughs> into, I need water, into, <clears throat> <clears throat> into your neti pot, any water. You can add it into your neti pot because then <coughs> that's another way of getting <laughs> your vitamin C in, but this time you're breathing it in, right? Let me open this water real quick. I wanted to thank everyone for doing their part in the presidential election. Whatever part you did, <clears throat> even if that includes vote, <coughs> even if that includes voting, you still did an amazing part in all of this. I also <clears throat> wanted you all to know that you know I was in social media, always you know texting. It's the first time I'm not putting a banner up. <clears throat> but texting vote Biden. <clears throat> and then in the last few days, I called <coughs> Arizona, I called Michigan. In the last two Sundays. And I want you all to I want to invite you all to do more, do more in your lives. For the greater good, do more for your children. <clears throat> it does pay off. You know, some of the comments that I was reading <coughs> was like, it will never change. And you're right. It does look like things might never change. But we're also not in the 1960s, people. So change has occurred <clears throat> all way. And does it mean that a fight will ensue to get people to change? Of course it means that. <laughs> Does it mean that people could get hurt, that more men especially could get shot in the back? Of course it means all of that. But stop throwing in the towel, especially young ones. Stop throwing in the towel. Demand change. <clears throat> Find a way to get involved politically. You know, I'm... I'm with my neighborhood council, <clears throat> and I'm with a <clears throat> all-black neighborhood council, and that's a beautiful thing. I was a budget advocate, and as a budget advocate, I was the only black at all the meetings, but I was there. Even though it was uncomfortable, I was there. 
Do you know what I mean? It's uncomfortable to be the only black anywhere. But I was there. And then this time around, I'm a stakeholder, which means I come to all the meetings to observe. I did not like being the only black budget advocate. So I did pull out <clears throat> as a title, but I went in <clears throat> to continuously watch and they do have a much better mix. This year, um, even though I'm finding that having a much better mix this year is problematic. I really feel like as long as they were mostly white, <clears throat> they were happy. And now that it isn't, they're having some major issues with themselves. So I want to invite you all, like it doesn't end here. Our prayer is what, prayer warriors? That Biden wins the electoral vote and that Biden gets sworn in. That is going to be our prayer warriors. That's going to be our job. You still got more work to do. You could still participate. Remember, I'm a big fan of prayer. So put it out there. Stop saying nothing will change. Everything has to change. Why do you think COVID is here? Everything has to change. So participate in the change. Do your part, What, whoever you are, do your part to always enact change, especially culturally. All right, I'm done with my, my uh, my stuff. <clears throat> All right. Are we good? I think what I'm finding, sh sh Sherry, what I'm finding is that America is just racist. And the South is racist. And we have to find better. Like, how can they have your black dollar and be racist toward you? We got to move from those places that voted so hard for a racist president. We want change. No, everything does not stay the same. But it kind of does mean you can't stay in those racist states either. I'm just saying, maybe I, maybe somebody just needs to tell people that you don't have to stay in a racist state. I hear you all. I hear you. We'll talk about what types of things we could be doing. So before I do a whole full 10 cards, that is not what I was supposed to do. I got these adorable color bags because I just love sending out pretty things. And I'm going to send these out probably for, mostly for protection. I'm not sure if I'm going to send them out for Chongo. I really don't know what I'm going to do with them. But <clears throat> I want, these are a little too big. And I didn't want it that obvious. These I'm sending out for protection with herbs inside. And they're for your doorknobs, all right? They're doorknob protection bags, all right? They're a little big, so there's a lot. Let me show you guys my doorknob protection bag. Let me show you guys, which I have to put a new one up. It still smells good, though. As long as the odor shines through, this is my doorknob protection bag. So you want it unassuming, I guess, or you don't, I guess. I don't know. I I like to go big or go home. But this is my doorknob protection bag, and it stays at my front door. All right. And so <clears throat> after... The Chango event, which is still going on. The Chango event is still going on. 
because it's ongoing. Just because America's quiet right now does not mean we're not going to have another Philly incident. All right. So we still want to protect the protesters. All right. For our candle magic, um, the red, um, or protect yourselves. So I brought these bags to create some doorknob protection. Oh, Cynthia, of course I do readings on the weekends. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, here's the difference. I'm always available. Always. I don't go anywhere. Where do you find me? TracyBoundLive.com. Right? I have never gone anywhere. Just call me for your own personal readings. Oh, Tracy, I will be purchasing the bag. It's beautiful. I know. I like to send out beautiful things. I know. Also, guys, we're going to start going back to our Orishas. All right. <clears throat> we went over <coughs> Ogun. <coughs> Yamai is my favorite. Oshun. Some of you girls are Oshun. <clears throat> That's those love herbs. Um, and of course, Chango. And Chango, I specifically made for the protesters. I priced them out cheaply so that you all would just order it. Now they're going back to regular price because it takes a lot of work to <clears throat> help the world. You know, it takes a lot of work. Um, and I want you to do your part. Remember, the president thing is not over. First, we need prayer to make sure that Biden gets in. And <clears throat> then we're going to need prayer so that Biden gets sworn in. So we got some work to do, guys. Let's do our part. Then, <clears throat> with all the racist states, we're going to have to figure out how do, how do we all survive? And when I say we all, I mean all of us. How do we not be racist? How do we be one with one another? Like, we're going to have to do our part. All right? Oya, Oya. I have Oya herbs, but I actually want to do it over because I mixed Oya with Shango, and she doesn't deserve that. So I'm going to create a whole Oya <clears throat> uh, herb mixture. I have it here, but if you notice, I didn't announce it. Because I, I want, with all my Orishas, I want to be fair to them. And so I feel like I cheated Oya. And Oya is my girl. Oya, I'm your Maya and Oya simultaneously. All right. All right, guys. Let's look at the three card spread. <clears throat> Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Who's being sneaky out there? Who's dealing with someone sneaky? Who's being sneaky? <clears throat> and are you being sneaky? Sometimes it's necessary to be sneaky, so I'm not going to take it from you. I haven't looked at the other cards. <clears throat> Knight of Swords. Sneaky in the Knight of Swords. Huh. No one's being sneaky. Okay. All right. And sacrifice the hangman. <clears throat> Someone around you is being sneaky. <clears throat> like evasive. Like weird communications in terms of <clears throat> what they have to say. I don't know why the circus is in the background, but <clears throat> I have to say the circus may represent illusion, right? You go to the circus. You go to the circus and everything is all but an illusion, right? How the tigers, you know, play with humans and how to elephants, you know, be animated. It's all an illusion, right? Because it's not normal. 
for tigers and animals and bears to play this, you know, circus acting, right? It's also a very powerful position when you can get someone to do your bidding, to give someone an impression that you are capable of this. I can do this. Very powerful position. Um, <clears throat> but I see you suiting up to stop this. Like, just stop it. Stop the illusion. Stop lying. Stop this. Stop that. And... <clears throat> Although I'm going to give you a lot of credit for suiting up and for stopping someone from being a particular type of way with you, you know, the person's running from you anyway. <clears throat> you see, you're, how is this done? This is like this. The person's running from you anyway. So you're, you're charging this person whose character can never change. It's not going to work out for you, right? This person has this ingrained inside of them, all right? So you're suiting up to combat, argue, let them know, I know what you're doing type of thing. But he's running anyways, and he's laughing. Look, he's laughing. He's not worried about being caught, all right? And then comes the sacrifice card. And the sacrifice card says, stop, 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 <laughs> stop. Just everybody stop. Let it go. Stop. You stop. Everybody stop. Let it go. Let that person go. You already know. The fool card is very, very specific. You're not the fool, but you need to know if you are being foolish in your antics chasing this person. No, no, Kayla. We're not going to start with show me the perfect person. The perfect person is inside of you. That's what you're going to begin to look at. You, your actions. So that an imperfect person cannot get in. If you accept sloppy people, Kayla, you will accept anything. I am teaching to stop accepting sloppy people. Amira, I sent your... Uh, your tango herb out yesterday. You're talking to me today. Thank you. So we're not going to teach people how to deal with sloppy people. We're talking about change and, and receiving things for the better. Not say, oh, well, you know, not everybody's perfect. No, no. I need you to change so that you could see the perfect man that's a match for you. Not accept any old sneaky dude that comes in. Oh, hi, B. Teresa, you could say something. All right. So I just want to read the full because Again, I'm going to go back to you, Kayla. When you accept anything, you become the fool. And no one likes that. No one likes an imperfect person that has come in to take advantage of you. No, no, you become the fool. I'm no fool. And that's why I'm here every day showing up for all of you because you don't have to take bad behaviors. And that goes for my men too, because I know there's some tricks to women out there. Today, see comma, today, I have openings today. 
call me for your own personal reading, tracybrownlive.com. I don't do emergency readings. It's today or tomorrow. Actually. Ah, I just got it, B. Oh, look at you. Hold on a second. Okay. The Fool. This is the book that we're going to be using in our tarot class. Um, Plain and Simple by Anthony Lewis. Please get the book. Please join us for tarot. All right. Um, The Fool in relationship to these cards means Negativity, purity of action, excited about something that you finally discovered, right? This person is sneaky and you're like, ah, oh yeah, I got ya. <laughs> Freedom from inhibition. Stop accepting sloppiness into your lives. Start saying no, no mas, no. All right, freedom from inhibition. You know, this card also represents someone that's coming into your life pretending to be hetero, but is really bi. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, you'll learn that in tarot class. Some of y'all are questioning whether or not this sneaky person is not 100% hetero. And it's not a bad thing, but don't make me a fool. Are we clear? Yeah, Cynthia B. I, I'm a I'm a highlight you. Seven years with a child and my boyfriend and no ring, running out of patience. Don't carry insecurities because a man's not gonna put a ring on it. That is silly. What's Beyonce song to the left? That's silly. You know what you have. He's controlled you for seven years. Take your life back. Sacrifice. That's what the fool really means. Sacrifice. How long you been chasing him? Seven years. It goes like this. <laughs> How long you been chasing him? Seven years. Take your life back. Now, I'm not saying argue with this dude tomorrow. I'm not saying that. I'm saying take your life back. It's just time. The world is changing around you. And he's stopping you from meeting your husband. Think of it that way. Take your power back, yes. Thank you, B. Thank you. Swipe left in that toxic relationship for real. Yes. And you know what? How about these readings are just group empowerment um, session as a totality? By the way, I'm going back to horoscopes. Y'all been missing the horoscopes. But I could not do horoscopes. While Trump was in office, I refused to do horoscope while COVID was here. And I really need to see where you were going with COVID, where Trump was going with COVID, and it's out of control. And you all still do not understand that COVID is still changing your lives. It's not registering. So I'm going back to horoscopes. They're not going to be warning horoscopes, but they're going to be like, hey, this is the truth. This is what spirit gave me. And you could take it or leave it, but I'm going to go back because I just wanted to wait until the election ended. I needed a break. I needed a break from COVID. I needed a break from Trump. I designed my break 
through election, although I didn't tell you guys. Horoscopes, horoscopes. There's a dance that we all do now on, um, I don't know if you saw the election video last night, but you know, this is the this is the Zoom dance, 2020 Zoom dance. How are we going to dance? So this is yes, yes, we're going back. <laughs> do the dance. All right. If you give somebody a deadline, you better stick to it. That's the only thing about deadline. If you give somebody a deadline, you better slam it. All right, guys. Hi, Tracy. Oh, hi, 1024. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for loving me. I love you all. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you all for participating. Um, I am going back to 15 minutes. Uh, Dashikis and Bonnet Daily Purpose. Call me for your own personal reading. TracyBrownLive.com. I am available. I do have opening. And please join the tarot class. If you're having some spirituality issues, this is the place to start. By the end of tarot class, you will have no more fear. You will be honest with your dreams and your impressions and your daytime visions. And you'll be more confident in what spirit is trying to tell you. So join us November 18th, TracyBrownLive.com. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. TracyBrownLive.com, Atina. TracyBrownLive.com. Just go on the website. Bye, guys. <laughs>